Our next film is a smash hit, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's the top grossing movie in the country right now, as you may know, and its success obviously has to do with the popularity of the TV cartoon show on which it is based, and with the utter lack of children's films. There isn't a whole lot on the screen to recommend this movie, however, which is basically a brainless action picture mixed with music video sequences. In the movie, the four crime-fighting turtles are turned into erect, human-sized creatures after they've been doused with a toxic waste. Their guru is a giant rat. I know it is hard for you here. Good. Underground. Yeah, okay. I want a like large, thick crust, crust with sandwich. double cheese, ham, pepperoni. Life. Lots of jokes involve the turtles' love of pizza, which enables the filmmakers to insert not too subtle advertising plugs for a nationwide pizza delivery chain. Just slip it down here. The violence in the film is mindless. The movie was made by a director who previously made music videos, and you can see the influence in this sequence. I don't know what all the excitement is about. The four turtles have mostly interchangeable characters. They set about their boring task of conquering dull villains. The turtles talk like surfers, guzzle pizza, and pay only lip service to ninja teachings. I suppose they pay only lip service if turtles have lips. I didn't like the picture, and I hope this isn't the case of kids just settling for something familiar. I actually, I think it is. The movies ought to be a much more magical experience than this. That's why I hate those countless product plugs. Why have kids be reminded of the world in which they spend all of their days? Yeah, and why, why would a pizza company want to advertise that it's the pizza preferred by turtles who live in sewers? That's an interesting plug. I was also interested in the high level of your criticism when you pointed out that these turtles only pay lip service to ninja teachings. I suppose you would have liked it well, better if it had been know, a more devout and uh, well, religious you know, film. Well, if no, but if if somehow I'm looking for something there for kids. Yeah, if yeah, if the yeah. kid, there, you know, like the Karate Kid film, at mm -hmm. least there's a suggestion of some kind of uh, altruistic behavior. What you have here is marketing carried to the ultimate degree. Now I you think did so. you mentioned the Saturday morning TV show. You didn't mention. The Nintendo game, which is oh, one see, of the top-selling Nintendo games in the country, and I played it for our Christmas gift guide last December until it drove me crazy, these little turtles running around and doing their flip-flops. And actually, the visuals in this movie look a lot like not only the TV show, but also like the video game. And so kids have already been brainwashed to the point where they've got to see this movie. That's why it opened so strongly. They had to be taken to see this movie. And I guess they liked it. I don't know. Maybe they're not that critical when they're five years old. But you're right. It's kind of a dark, uh, brooding, kind of depressing looking movie. And even though I admired the set decoration, I thought they did a good job right. of making those sewers, uh, it didn't have the bright and bouncy feeling that you'd like to think that kids would enjoy when they're that age. I don't know what the appeal is. When I sat there, I, I, I knew it was a big phenomenon. I couldn't figure it out. I think it is just what you said, marketing. In other words, they want to see the turtles because they've seen the turtles on the tube uh -huh. and in the thing, and so they have to see the turtles. It beats me when we come.